Welcome to the Switch, episode 5 of the best basketball podcast in the country. Uh, the only basketball podcast in the country worth watching. Why? Because Tunde Young is here. Tosi <laughs> Abayam is here. And if I am here. If I is here, third splash, bro. Even though that technically should have been fourth splash, bro, because Jordan Poole became the third splash, bro. Oh, please. Yeah, it, it, it did not last. Jordan Poole is the, the prodigal yeah, song. Mm. In and out. But yeah, uh, we're back. Another episode. Hey, be grateful. Come on, guys. Come, Come on, guys. Tap it up. Tap it up. Tap it up. This is what? Episode number five. five. Number five. Many have wow. cancelled before us. <laughs> <laughs> Many did not make it beyond the pilot stage. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Many amazing. remain an idea. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let, let's get Today, though, we have to talk. Still talking basketball because that's what we do on the switch. Right. Uh, but we are talking the Olympics. Uh, Olympics basketball is our foot. And ladies and gentlemen, the United States. Uh, they got their feelings hurt the last time out. I'm talking about the men's team. Last time out at the at the, at the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, the World Cup yeah. They did not even be, not even medal. I think mm. they they lost. The the, yeah, they thought they lost the third game to to Canada. Yeah. So they mm-hmm. finished fourth. One of the most disappointing finishes in years. But when you look at it, it is normal to U.S. basketball at the World Cup. They usually send kind of a B team. So they send a B or a C team yeah. even. Yeah. Yeah, but still, the, what happens is that usually. Their B or C team is still good enough. Good enough to, to win, right? To win. Yeah. It's not that it should be more competitive than it should have been. Uh, yeah, but they still years. eventually should win. Or uh, at the very least, mm. top three. Yeah. Uh, in yesteryears, but now obviously like the, the the quality of basketball around the world is obviously good. I think but I think there was I saw an article that rated basketball as the second growing sport to to, to football in right. the world. So yeah. I think I think other teams are maybe not catching up, but you can see there's an improvement. Yeah, there's an improvement on the yeah. level of basketball. So 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 obviously like Obviously, the the FIBA World Cup, the FIBA Olympic qualifications are over. Obviously, uh, disappointing for my boy Luca <laughs> and Slovenia, but obviously he needed that rest. And, and now the groups are set. In Group A, we have the Boomers of Australia. We have Greece led by Yanis Antetokounmpo. We have Canada led by Shea and Spain, obviously led by Rudy Fernandez the Great. And that's obviously the group of death. In Group B, we have France. With Wembayama and Gobert, Rudy. we have Germany, the reigning world champions. We have Japan and Brazil. And in Group C, we have Serbia, led by Nikola Jokic. We have South Sudan, Africa's sole representatives. Mm-hmm. We have Puerto Rico, and we have the United States of America. Right. So, obviously, those are the three groups. And a lot of people actually look at the United States of America. They've won since 2008. They've been winning gold after they brought back the, the dream team. Yeah. And after losing in this World Cup, um, if I... What what are your expectations of of I, I, is this the dream team is this the revenge team because they are calling it this one they are calling <laughs> yeah. this one the Avengers team so yeah very yeah. dream redeem <laughs> uh, I think this one should be the, before yeah. I go there let me just run to the roster in case anybody doesn't know mm. who they are coming with and if I can tell us what he thinks uh, their chances are even though we all know that they should <laughs> mm. yeah but yeah but uh, the guards Stephen uh, Stephen Curry of Golden State Warriors Adam uh, Booker uh, of Phoenix Suns Anthony Edwards of Minnesota Timberwolves Drew Holiday of the Boston Celtics Tyrese Halliburton of the Indiana Pacers uh, for the forwards is LeBron James of the Los Angeles Lakers, Kevin Durant of the Phoenix Suns, Kawhi Leonard was originally listed on this team, uh, but we now of the LA Clippers, but we now hear that he's pulling out yeah. and will be replaced. Uh, we don't know by the yet, yeah. by the time of uh, by the request, okay. Yeah, uh, Justin Tatum of the Boston Celtics, and in center, uh, is the man with three nationalities, Joel Embiid uh, <laughs> of the Philadelphia 76ers, and to the Davis of the Lakers, and Bam Adebayo. Of the Miami Heat, obviously yes, that's right? a, yeah. I mean, on paper, yes. Although the you know the NBA the rules are a bit different. Um, the three point line is shorter. Yeah. The mm-hmm. time is different. Mm-hmm. But I think it won't be a landslide. You're not going to see you know some USA beating people the 30 point gap or no it won't be that i even think they are legit contenders like outside of the usa i have i feel like canada can can do something i mean you look at that canada roster you have rg barrett you have shea of course you have olinic um Ludot, you have Ludot, you Dylan have brooks dwight powell like that's that's a team that can and these are like seasoned nba players so i don't think it's just team usa but of course they have i mean the talent is undeniable you know, I don't know what the starting five will look like, but you have to believe that Steph, LeBron, KD, you know, Tatum probably, I don't know if Embiid or, 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 or Davis will start. But yeah, so you have a starting, and you have Anthony Edwards, you know, you have a bench that is 
Drew Holiday. It's mm-hmm. like the team is set in in all departments. So I think they should be. You they would bring gold home. It just will not be easy, especially. I mean, Yanis is in this, is, is in the Olympics. Yeah, obviously. Jokic is in the Olympics. Mm-hmm. They will have to run through Gobert and Wembayama, so it's not yeah. going to be a landslide. I mean, um, I'm I'm sure Tosin Tosin always. Uh, um, I'm sure he has his own unique thoughts on which team will give the the, the United States uh, the most revenge team the <laughs> most problems. Well, I, I like I like the look of Canada. You mentioned Canada, yeah. and I want to read their roster real quick before Tosin uh, gives his thoughts. Uh, Nickel Alexander Walker, R. J. Barrett, uh, Trey Bell, Ains. Karen Bench, Dylan Bruce, Lou Dot, Melvin Jim, Shaggy Just Alexander, Mifondu Kabengele, Trey Lyles, Jamal Murray, Andrew Nemad, who had a great uh, playoffs for the Celtics. That white boy that was knocking yeah. out the shots in the corner. Uh, Kelly Olinik, uh, Dwight Powell. That's a strong team. Yeah, Phil Shop and Thomas Scrub. <laughs> My name is Scrub. <laughs> like, NBA is without fist on that. Uh, but, uh, Tosin, mm? I mean, first of all, we are all Africans here. Mm. More specifically, we are all Nigerians, <laughs> but we are Africans. There's only one African male team playing uh, the 2024 Olympic basketball. That's South Sudan. Mm. Is there any chance of them doing anything at this Olympics? I, I I expect that South Sudan should be should be should be should finish bottom of their group. I think that would be a very accurate <laughs> representation of what I expect from South Sudan at this at this Olympics. Not not because of. Uh, it's just the, the way they find themselves in that group. Obviously, they will battle with Puerto Rico for last place. Uh, Serbia and USA are obviously two strong teams in that group. Mm-hmm. And w- one of the problems I have with the Olympic qualification, and I'm not even going to talk about Nigeria when it comes to... We didn't qualify. We didn't even qualify for the World <laughs> Cup anyway. And when we hosted the Olympic qualifiers in Nigeria here, they spent more time, obviously, talking about how they are going to organize the after party <laughs> rather than focusing on on, 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 on on the players and their welfare themselves. So I'm not even going to waste my own time talking about it. We were, we all were at a yeah, hotel. We're, we're there together. We were at a hotel together and we saw the, the shambles of, of preparation. But let's actually focus on South Sudan. I think it's incredible for, for a country that was worked on a couple of years ago to, to now be Rep, to be at the Olympics representing Africa, event. yeah, uh, yeah. So it's incredible, but obviously I expect them to carry last place, and <laughs> that that should be that should be enough for them. But looking at the contenders in this Olympics, and I've always been somebody who, obviously after the the the, the debacle in two thousand and four, obviously spearheaded by LeBron James, when they went to the Olympics in Athens, Greece, and they were. Uh, with a, with a loaded roster, and were not able to get the gold medal. How old was it? LeBron James is I think he was 21 at the time. Yeah, so but it was. I, was, I think he was. I know. I think he was 19 at the time. He <laughs> was not as he was 19. No, yeah. <laughs> it, LeBron James in the second year. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was the <laughs> he, 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 he was he was the poster child for the, he was the one putting his arms, the chosen one, and everything. At the end of the day, let me look for this other four <laughs> They had Tim Duncan on that team. They had Vince Carter. He was the poster child of the team. He's, he's similar to like obviously like. And when they went back in 2008 and Kobe led the way and showed LeBron that this is how you win, this is how you become a champion, this is how we do things. And ever since then, I think the people kind of have the mentality that once the USA summon their best players, they are automatically going to win. Yeah. That has been the case, factually. But if you watch the games, if you watch the 2008 Olympics, until Kobe hit that late three to extend the, the, the game to eight points, it was a back and forth encounter between them and Spain. Same situation in 2000 and, in 2012. 2016 against Serbia, they played a very, very young Jokic side. Jokic led Serbia. And in 2020 against France, France already beat them in the group stage yeah. before they beat France in, 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 in the final game. So I expect them, depending on their matchups, if they have to go through consecutive games, especially if they finish second in their group to Serbia, and they have to go to probably Germany, France, and Greece on their way. Yeah, so so the fact that the US are calling up their best players, there are a couple of things you need. You need chemistry, you need to understand the international game, which is a little bit different from, from the NBA basketball. And those factors, I and mean, if they have to run through a, a couple of stack teams, I won't be surprised if they do not bring home gold. Obviously, they are the favorites. Okay. Okay. Just because I'm a petty human being, I've gone to go and open the twelve that four roster mm. in Athens, where those said was spearheaded by Lepra. Tim Duncan was on that. Don't team. worry. I would let me read the fifteen man roster. Allen Iverson at the peak of his powers. Stephon Marbury. Stephon Marbury. Dwayne Wade. Mm. Stephon Marbury. Carlos Bula, Carlos Buza. Mm. Mm. Carmelo Anthony. Star studded. Mm. 
LeBron James, Emeka yeah, Okafor, <laughs> mm. Sean Marion, Amari Stoudemire, Tim Duncan, Lamar Odom, Richard Jefferson. But it's the 19 year old that you the literally the youngest player on the roster. Don't think he's a diabolical human. <laughs> but let us leave to another far, come back to 2024. And outside the United States, let's say the United States somehow are going to mess this up. Mm. Who is the next best beneficiary? Is it France? Uh, is, is it Greece? Yanis is going to be playing his first Olympics. I believe, I think Shea has, has ascended to where I think he can lead. And he also has, don't forget, he has Jamal Murray as a sidekick. So this is like, you know, two of the finest offensive players in the league. So I believe Canada, yeah, I would back Canada as like, a, the, if the US will falter at any point, I think Canada can take advantage of it. For, for me, it has to be Serbia. I think there's a different type of passion, there's a different type of pattern when Serbia play international basketball. And, like, obviously, they always brag about the fact that if Yugoslavia was still together, the, the Balkan countries of Slovenia, of Croatia, of of Serbia, and of Bosnia, yeah. that uh, are Montenegro also, that all these countries together, they were still one country, Yugoslavia, that they definitely would that, have been... That donkey, <laughs> your kid, <laughs> that, that they, they definitely would have been able to be the US. But I think, like, if you look at this roster, apart from Canada, and Canada, I think Canada is a very, very fine choice. I think the next thing that has enough NBA experience and international experience will probably be Serbia. Obviously, they have a three-time MVP in Nikola Jokic. They have a sharpshooter in Bogdan Bogdanovic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have Nikola, Nikola Jovic on the their team. Yeah. yeah, they have uh, Alexander Pokushevsky on yeah. their team. Poku. Uh, Poku. They, they have um, That's my bad uh, team, Vasily actually. Michich of the Charlotte Hornets on that team also. So, I think Serbia, with their style of play, that Balkan side style of play, a lot of physicality, a lot of, obviously, tenacity, I think Serbia would be my dark horse favorite, uh, especially with the amount of what they're giving them 10 odds. I think I think that's a lot of money. I, I, I may just try that. I think, uh, obviously, because the FIBA rules are also like the, uh, what the Euro League uh, teams yeah, do, yeah. I think it favors the European teams a lot more. Yeah, the European yeah. players are already familiar with that. Whereas the NBA players, uh, the American players have to learn it. Mm-hmm. That's just to it, that, yeah. That tra- that mm-hmm. training camp to yeah. That's what they spend. So, but the, the Luka doesn't have to because he has played at mm-hmm. that yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. So it's second day just to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I saw a cover job before, last week for a round of, uh, on the... On, on how the Olympics always have just random NBA players turn to monsters <laughs> in the country. And I want to know who do you guys think that, w- that would be this time. We uh, saw so Jose Alvarado, you know, helping Puerto Rico qualify. Mm-hmm. And could Alvarado turn out to be a player of the, uh, of the tournament candidate? You see, I, I, there, there, there's some credence there's some, there's some, there's some to that. We've seen that uh, before. You does Timothy Lua, Cabarro, does <laughs> training shots. And I'll be like, this mm-hmm. nigga is not even... <laughs> Just like, this guy is not even getting uh, rotation minutes <laughs> in the NBA. Yeah. But for the virus is just cooking, cooking American players that he cannot play against the NBA. Nobody. So who do you guys have your money on? Uh, to just in, probably start with that. Uh, I, I, I'm looking at this South Sudan team, <laughs> and I'm looking at somebody like obviously like Wenyen Gabriel. Wenyen Gabriel. Mm-hmm. Not, not a bad choice. Yeah, someone like it's the only person that they have that. Really someone, someone <laughs> like when you give who normally uh, he was caught by the Lakers, caught by the Celtics, caught all around. But if you look at his style of play, it's a lot of I don't want to call them. I don't want to use a, a derogatory word, obviously. But like it's it's a lot of jungle stuff. You understand? <laughs> it's a lot of hanging on the rim. <laughs> You understand athleticism it's a lot of you understand so like that kind of energy in, in the nba you, you it's it's a little bit much more you need to skip for that kind of energy <laughs> it's a lot of words, it's a lot of words. <laughs> but but in fiba basketball whereby you can grab the ball off the rim you understand you can actually if the ball doesn't go in straight if the ball hits the cylinder and it doesn't go doesn't in you can actually can slap it so, yeah so, so that's that, not offensive interference it's not offensive interference that kind of energy like just that melanin energy just put it out on all, all, all on the court you understand so yeah okay well i think this, he may not be random i mean obviously not he played for your, <laughs> your lebron your lebron franchise i think then he showed that would be somebody that could really yeah 
go crazy for Jordan. But Jordan was the MVP. Yeah, so it's not a random guy. Yes, but you know, over the last one year, what, what group are last two years, and Germany are in the same group with Shoda. France and um, they are in the same group, group with France and um, a couple of other, a couple of. Other I think groups. I think he could go crazy. How is it that? I mean, that, 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 that that's something that could happen. Shoda has mm. a lot of international experience. Mm. Uh, you see random guys on Australia. Like I see Patty Mills just start playing like <laughs> twenty twelve Steph Curry. Does start draining every shot. So, yes, but maybe as well, I think it's going to be Avarado. I think Avarado will have, will have a great time. Avarado will cook, definitely. Yeah, Avarado for sure. Speaking of cooking, we have to go. I want to go and cook. We are more See you guys See next you guys time. Today, you doesn't have a fine switch. Uh, nobody's saying they are not like us again today. Shout out to Kyrie. <laughs>